Now earlier in the week we did see a lot of rain and a few dark ominous clouds called shelf clouds. The National Weather Service defines them as a low wedge shaped cloud associated with a thunderstorm gust front or a squall line. Courtney Jacobazzi breaks down how all of that works. It all starts with a line of thunderstorms, also known as squall lines. Those produce very strong downdrafts of rain chilled air and as that hits the ground it spreads out horizontally, putting cooler air ahead of the storm. However, this cooler air runs into warmer air that hasn't been cooled by the rain, hence why we see warmer temperatures where you don't see storms roll through. This then leads to the next few steps. The warmer, moist and less dense air gets lifted by the cooler, dense air condensing to form a cloud. But since it forms along a squall line, that's what makes them spread out along almost an entire horizon. So let's go to the radar loop and show you the storm from Friday night. Here's that line of storms that pushed through parts of Bibb County and produced an extremely impressive shelf cloud on Friday night. And here's a couple of viewer photos. This one courtesy of David Hamlin. This was in West Bibb County. So from that line of storms I just showed you, very impressive cloud. You can see it right here. That is what we call a shelf cloud in case you're wondering what to look for in the sky if you've never heard of it or seen one. Here's another one from Dudley, Georgia from Kyle Williams. Extremely ominous looking and of course thunderstorms do follow behind so some pretty rough weather can follow behind these clouds. When you're snapping a picture be sure to do so safely. We love to see these photos. We are claiming them as shelfies so be sure to send yours in to us on the 13 WMAZ Facebook page. Do so safely because we always love to see them. All right, and as Courtney said, we do want to see your shelfies. So to do so, upload that photo to 13WMAZ.com on our Facebook page.